beginnen met operatie nachtwacht. Een operatie die tot het oog van de... This is the first time that we can actually make a full body scan and that we can discover which pigments he used not only through making little samples but with scanning the entire surface. And what we've seen with our last conservation of uh, the two Rembrandt full-length portraits that we acquired with France is that you can see very well with these techniques which changes Rembrandt made. And we don't know much about how Rembrandt made this painting, and now we hope to discover more and really get a, a glimpse into the kitchen of the artist. I think the most challenging is the, because of the size of the painting, we're going to be collecting so much uh, data, I, um, the correlation of that data and the interpretation of that data will be enormous. Um, just in terms of the photography, there'll be more than 12,000 images that will just make up one total image. And then you can imagine that with each of the uh, modalities, uh, with the chemical imaging that we're going to do, uh, the correlation of all that data. So it'll, I think the, the huge challenge will be um, studying all that material, uh, interpreting all that material, and then trying to come to an understanding of actually what it means for the condition and, the, uh, and how the picture was painted. Well, this is the largest painting we now have by Rembrandt. It is also a very complex composition. And Rembrandt, every time he has to do something, he does something completely new and unknown. And what he did here, he was ordered to paint a group portrait. Well, you'd think everybody stands in line, like with every group portrait. But he paints a story, a story of people marching out civic guards of Amsterdam marching out, protecting the city. Well, of course, I think uh, in this case, the painting is a very large painting. I mean, it's more than four meters long by more than three and a half meters high. So in this case, um, it's not possible to take the painting out of the galleries because, uh, I mean, that also presents risks. So I think it is really, this is really the best situation for this painting, for it to happen in the galleries. And it's also not possible to really to make a, uh, a prognosis about how long the research will take or how long the actual treatment would take. So I think, you know, all things considered, I think that this is really the optimal situation to have it taking place here in the galleries. The public can follow it. Uh, I think, you know, for the conservators and the researchers working on the painting, it will take a little get, bit of getting used to, but I think 
uh, after a few days, it won't be such a problem.